Assalamu alaikum. This video is for class 3. Subject is English. And this is our 13th lesson. Today we'll do review of unit number 1, 2 and 3 of Progressive English book. And then we'll cover some lessons of your grammar book. So let's start. From unit number one, question answers. Question number one is Where does Sandra live? In Austin. Okay. She lives in Austin. Question number two What's her father's name? The name of her father is Ed. Ed is the answer. Question number three is what's her father's job? Answer is he's a reporter. Question number four. Question number four is how old is Sandra's brother? Answer is he is ten years old. Question number 5. What's her mother's name? Judy. Judy is the name of her mother. Question number 6 is What's her mother's job? Answer is She's a doctor. Question number 7. How old is Sandra? She is 8 years old. Question number 8 is Where does Sandra's Ipa live? Paul means friend. Okay. It means a person that you make friends with by sending emails. Often somebody you've never met. But the person is your friend. Okay. Answer is She lives in Karachi. So, Ipa lives in Karachi. Okay, move on to unit number 2, the three little goats. Question answers. Question number 1. Where did the three little goats live? The three little goats lived in the, mountain, in the mountains. Question number 2 is, what bad news did they hear? They heard that a big wolf lived in the mountains. And question number three. When did Tiny Horns go inside his straw house? Usually in the evening. Answer is in the evening. Question number four is. Why did Tiny Horns wake up? in the night what was the reason because the house was shaking question number five which house was still standing at the end of part one of the story the brick house was still standing at the end of part one of the story Okay, let's see. Question answers of unit number 3. Send me an email. What kind of place is Mr. B looking for? Yes, he's looking for an internet cafe. Question number 2. Where is the man from? The man is from Karachi. Question number three. Do Mr. Berkey and the man live in the same part of Karachi now? Answer is no. They do not live in the same part of Karachi.
Okay, we have some more questions from same unit. Question number one is, where did Mr. Berkey write his email? Answer is, Mr. Berkey wrote his email in Nepal. Question number two. Can Mr. B watch TV in the evenings, in the mountains? Answer is no, he cannot. Question number three is, Why doesn't Mr. B speak Urdu in Nepal? Answer is because Nepalis do not understand Urdu. Question number four. Is it easier to build bridges in the dry season or the rainy season? Answer is, it is easy to build bridge in dry season. Question number five. Will the walk between the two villages be longer or shorter in future? Answer is, it will be shorter. Question number six. Do you think Saira likes walking? Nadia likes potatoes. Answer is, Saira doesn't like walking and yes, Nadia likes potatoes. Okay, so we have covered question answers of three units. Okay, now let's do some grammar exercise. Fill in the blanks with correct words from the ones given in the brackets. Point number one is, she bought dash eggs. Okay students, so these are confusing words. T double O two and T W O two. Confusing words are words that sound alike but have different meanings. Okay, so the spellings are different. T T W O two is a number two and T double O two means also. How many eggs she bought? She bought two eggs, okay? Number two is correct here. Point number two, can I have an ice lolly dash? Answer is T double O two. Okay, can I have an ice lolly two? Two means B. Point number three, Robert has made up his mind dash go to Japan. T O two is correct word here. To go to Japan, we use this too when we want to. Uh, move from one place to another. Point number four: He'll buy dash cups for me. Answer is: He'll buy two cups for me. T W O two, not T O two. Okay. Another question is: Write proper nouns. In these given blanks. Okay, this question is mentioned at page number eight of your grammar book. Students, a proper noun is a noun that names a person, particular person, place, or thing. Okay, proper nouns usually begin with a capital letter. Point number one. Name of the highest mountain. Highest mountain is Mount Everest. Mount Everest is Earth's highest mountain above sea level. Name of any river. 
any river then you can write the name of a river jhelum okay the river jhelum is a river in northern india in eastern pakistan and the name of your favorite cartoon character tom and jerry students you can write any uh, name of cartoon character that you like and a story book that you like reading most robin hood okay mount everest river jhelum tom and jerry and robin hood these are all examples of a proper noun up till here our lesson has been completed क्वेश्चन आंसर्स आपने याद करने हैं और ग्रामर की प्रैक्टिस करनी है थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग।